together different ways and different theories to do the reverse. Uh, it's been put in the market. What? Um, a method called hypnoperty, okay, which consists in, in to do the delivery with hypnosis. And they were promoted by some nurses. Uh, the problem with that is that um, most of the uh, people they, they use it, number one, or they are knowing not this and they are nurses or, or medical personnel who learn quick, short type of hypnosis in, in a meeting or one week or something like that. And, and the other people, they are hypnotists, they don't know anything about childbirth. So these people have to learn about what is childbirth all about, especially if they are not women, or they are not women, they will be exposed to childbirth, many men, maybe they've been in the hospital, they have a situation to have the birth of the child, their own child, but they are not experienced. Uh, what I am bringing here is the experience of a gynecologist, for so many years that I'm embarrassed to say, what I'm embarrassed about, because uh, a little bit older now. But I started doing deliveries in 1971, so counted many of you who haven't even been born at that time, All right? So, uh, I very hypnosis in, in Spain when I was in medical school, and then I practiced well, at that time was my, my girlfriend and my wife. Then I uh, delivered my, myself, I delivered my two children, two sons. My daughter was uh, uh, born before I, I finished medical, I know medical school, but I finished the training of such a guy in college. So I delivered them uh, in 1975 and 1977 with hypnosis. Later on, in 2000, I was part of delivering my granddaughter. I was not the personally the physical delivery, but as part of training my my daughter to to do the delivery with the nurses like the mother in Colorado. And what is very interesting with the hypnosis is to. Um, realize that is not like they said painless childbirth because there are some people who said hypnosis is like painless childbirth. Maybe it's not pain, but what I bring it in is to have a comfortable childbirth. And that is the wording that we were discussing. Even no birth, even no comfortable childbirth, I can think from that on I want to say comfortable childbirth with hypnosis. People. That's going to be how I got to enunciate my, my, my method from, from here on to avoid uh, confusion with other men. Um, as uh, Guillermo was saying, I, I was a graduate at the University of Madrid, medical school. Uh, I did the internship at Monsani in 1969. I, I graduated in 1968. And then I became a resident at Monsani after Miami Beach four years of finishing in 1974, and I've been practicing uh, obstetrics and then in Broward County. Um, I graduated as a master in medicine and therapies with General Kane, and I practiced uh, also since 1968, on and off. In July 2000, I was featured in Miami Herald front page because I was using hypnosis. I followed TV news, lectures, demonstrations for a few years. But what is really comfortable childbirth with hypnosis? What is that? Is that okay? Natural childbirth with hypnosis is an active effort to a better childbirth by more natural means. A mind over both experience and the control of the birth process. That's what it's all. The use of this method is applicable to any woman who wants to have a better, safe, and healthy childbirth with control, comfort. Doesn't preclude the use of current techniques of medical analgesia, epidural, or spinal anesthesia if needed. 
And I believe a woman should not experience more discomfort than they, share, they are able to bear or tolerate. So it's not written in stone, you're going to do childbirth and that's it. You're going to do my way, and otherwise you cannot do it. can do my method, you can use an analgesia medication if you need it. But usually, the amount of medication they need is much less. That would be a bit regular childbirth. Using the self-hypnosis technique shortens substantially the childbirth process because the deep relaxation of the pelvic muscles and the analgesia effect, facilitating a faster descent of the baby, as really is designed by nature. Because nature, whatever is nature, <laughs> we were discussing before about nature, is very smart. And nature designed and designed many parts of, of universe in a way that supposed to be fast and easy for perpetuation of the species. Nature doesn't design a childbirth to be hooked in a bed in a hospital to IVs without moving for hours and hours. It does when you use the method, and I, an example was my daughter, for instance, when she had the first child, she had the child, when she started contraction, I get three and a half hours, four hours, this baby was done. And everything was healthy, so I had no medication whatsoever. And that, what it is, uh, can show you that if the graph go very, very fast, to the point that some people, when they start using the nose, they have to be very careful. The doctors be advised that maybe it's going to like a, called a precipitous labor. That means that if the normal regular labor uh, is going from one hour per uh, one centimeter dilatation per hour, and then pushing different part of the label. That can take hours. With this process, that can take maybe two or four hours. You have to be careful because you do realize the baby is right there. Why? Because that's what I said before. Women are trained to, if they have a contraction, relax, facilitate, pass of the baby to the birth canal. The birth canal is very short, okay? And the birth canal is very tricky because they have different dimensions and, and diameters, and the baby has to come out rotating because the baby has to have different measurements in the head this way, this way, the shoulders, all those things, because they have different dimensions and the pelvis. The baby has to come out rotating to accommodate different diameters to the birth canal. But in the woman, which is what happened with most of the childbirth uh, method, you simply start breathing very strong. Usually what happens is when they have pain, they tie up. They tie up to the point that the baby is going to find a closed door almost, and instead of go fast, it's going to go slow because it's pressure, the swelling of the head, the swelling of the root canal, they take much longer. Okay, so what we teach is to relax. The time when they have a contraction, when we relax, the baby will come. Okay. The mind preparation and information done during the diagnosis training help to understand, tolerate, and remove many uncomfortable symptoms and secondary effects of pregnancy and helps the healing and recovery during the postpartum period. That's very important because not only during the delivery, but who have some complications, the woman is completely prepared to heal also, they will do much better. This method is recommended to start around 12, 32 weeks for the preparation of the delivery, or at any time early if you want to have the pregnancy process and bonding. <coughs> and it's very helpful and recommended, but not necessary to the presence of a coach like a husband or a survey. So this is in general, okay? This is in general um, what the natural childbirth and the comfortable childbirth with hypnosis is all about. 
But how do you do this type of method? How you are going to prepare the woman to do the method to save? Let's see if we can, we can start without that. Like I said before, you have to find out who is interested in the one you have. You find somebody who wants to deliver, deliver around 32 weeks, so maybe if it's early, if you are a gynecologist or a midwife, you had to do it before. The, actually, the earlier the you, this method is better because there are a lot of symptoms, a lot of secondary effects of the pregnancy, they're going to be improved, very much and tolerated when you have the, the childbirth preparation. Decide to have different sessions, okay, to the patient and the husband to the coach. What I do in those patients is I do a, a classical Hellman's induction, which uh, I create also what we call um, sonambulism with amnesia. That's a deep, deep hypnosis because you are going to require therapeutic effects, and when you do hypnosis, with deep hypnosis, with amnesia, creating the state of somnambulism, then you can get analgesia and anesthesia. That if you have a very, very light type of hypnosis, you can have it. And you will see later on what I'm talking about. Something very traumatic, like is to stick needles in somebody's forearm and don't even have the reflex that anybody would have when they stick a needle automatically reflects that you don't have even subconscious you will react. So when you do this type of anesthesia, when you do this, this, this type of anesthesia, uh, this type of deep hypnosis, you can produce anesthesia, right? So Emman induction is important. And also what I do is to have a, a way that the patient uh, understand the process. So when they feel that discomfort, okay, automatically it's going to be blocked. Okay. And it's going to be blocked to the level or the cerebral level. So the sensation is, is, is blocked. When I do this induction, then I do also a post suggestion to have a quick in, in, induction later on. So you'll see here, all we have to do is touch the forehead, and the patient will come to this deep state of relaxation. That we were talking before this type of hypnosis. Um, I do a test for, him, for amnesia. For instance, when I bring about the patient, and I give the suggestion of amnesia, like it comes from one to 10, and you are going to forgive the number six. It's this patient are really, uh, or maybe I said, said the name, the, the days of the week, maybe you miss Wednesday. So when they repeat that, when you have to bring it back, they repeat back, they will miss six, and they will miss Wednesday. And that's really a good test of amnesia, and you know that this patient is being under deep, deep sonambulism state of hypnosis. Okay. Then what I do, I'll try to put in a, in a place, in a place Um, the first, in this first session also, I put it some, uh, to relax, I, I, I found out what the patient likes, the place more, place more comfortable in their life, they just like to be in, on the beach, on the mountains, or at home, or whatever. And I, I found a place for the patient right there where I tell them what park right there, stay right there, and that's where I'm going to get all my therapy in that patient, in that place where the patient 